Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I've got my Hobonichi here. I asked you guys on Instagram if you wanted to see a flip through and you did. Since I already have sort of a flip through of most of these pages already on this channel, I thought it'd be fun to show you how I played some catch up. So I'm going to cut to places where I actually worked on these pages and then I'll just set that to music so you can see my process a little bit. But mainly I want to go through the month of June because I just finished catching up on it. Here I did a bunch of quotes and things that I thought I would want to carry with me for the spirit of summer. And then I sort of add these as I go. And one of the things that I love is having different quotes that are very inspiring. I think it sets the tone for the month. Even if you want to add them as you're going through your month, for example, we're in July right now. So I'll show you really quick what July looks like so far. And I've left space and more room as I find things that are inspiring. Here we go. June 1st, Little Beach House Malibu had a wonderful day and a date night. And so things like business cards are always fun to keep. Sometimes I add just strips of my favorite washi tapes. You can always incorporate your Tombow markers and in addition to your writing and stickers. This one's from Erin Condren and little doodles if you feel like it too. Part of what I love about this whole process is incorporating little bits and pieces of your life. So whether it's your favorite stickers or getting other people to participate, this was a napkin, just all kinds of little things that you might not think about including. If you get sort of bored the same way I do, I love to change it up throughout the day. I mean, every day is a brand new canvas and you can make it how good as you want or as good as you want and you just don't have to be restricted to so many rules. I think we're so hard on ourselves sometimes and we want to make it look perfect and I say perfect in quotes because there's no such thing. So if you're wanting to develop this style and really hone in on the things that you like, try new things. I don't have scissors oftentimes when I'm doing this and I just like 
the look of the ripped paper. And then other times I'll just catch up whenever I can and add things like photos. These little post-its are from my newest collection, Shine On with American Crafts. And then there's little stickers and all kinds of fun bits that you can, you know, pick and choose. Some wonderful days with Jack. It was his last day of preschool, which was huge. Look at his first day of preschool in 2016, you guys. My heart, he grew so much and looks like such a big boy now. And I just adore the fact that this was documented. That's not the best sketch of Jack, but I'm just so glad these pages are done, documented. You know, for years to come, I can look back on it and just say it's done instead of having the blank spaces. Not that it's bad to have the blank spaces because I definitely have plenty of those, but when I played catch up, I felt really accomplished to have gotten all of this done. And if you want to incorporate little flaps, you can with some journaling. I just think that this is such a great way to keep track of your days and really feel inspired to live your best creative life. This was one of the most fun parties, my Avery launch party at the Sunset Marquee. And this photo actually ended up making it to the Hollywood Reporter. I'll link that below too. But yeah, so they made custom napkins that were from my creations and we were able to just 
take some and you know incorporate it into this book. So here's something that I did online that you guys have seen before. I did it for the uh, Get Messy workshop that I'm a part of with story being our theme. And then of course, Pixar Pier was so fun to go check out before it opened. And I had to put all those goodies in. That video is definitely up, so I'll link that below too. And here I'm just playing with elements from my sticker book. And I just love the idea. So these two are from my sticker book. These I think are from a different one that is maybe me and my big ideas, all their planner sticker books. This sticker book is actually available online at Michael's. Um, I will link that below. And then also at Staples, in some select Staples stores, you can see my sticker book. So here, just continuing on with a mix of things that I love. Um, stickers from places that we eat, business cards cut up, a photo, and then we went to Beyond the Streets, and it's so funny because this is a graffiti event basically, and I chose these floral stickers to put together with it. There are no rules, you should just do what makes you happy, and then repeat that, okay? So go outside, get happy, repeat, but really, if instead of go outside, it's do the things that make you happy, repeat. Just continue doing those things. Uh, this was something that I actually lettered on my iPad and I shared it on Instagram in my stories. Are you guys watching my stories? <laughs> this is, I know, it's a lot to take in, but here are some examples of when you don't know what you wanna fill in with the page or you don't wanna do too much journaling, you can obviously take these quotes that you hear and read. This one is amazing. And then I love this little postcard. It says, self-care is a divine responsibility. And I have to remember that, okay? So often I just am constantly hustling, constantly doing the work, and not taking time for myself. Self-care is so important. It's a divine responsibility. And that goes for you too, okay? So. Do the things that make you happy, that make you feel fulfilled, that bring you joy. And then, you know, I mean, this happens to bring me a lot of joy. These were pages that I just finished this morning. I already had the photo booth strip and then this part of it done, but then I filled in the rest. And then we go on to Saturday, the last day of June, and then July. This was from a napkin, Chuck E. Cheese ticket, stickers and I'm already behind on July, but I can always go back and fill it in. I think that's part of the fun of doing this type of format. Let me know in the comments below what your piece of advice is, what the best piece of advice you've ever been given is, and I will letter some, and you might see them in my July pages, all right? Thank you so much for watching. As usual, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you so much for being subscribed to my channel. If you aren't subscribed already, please do. I share a ton of fun content on here and I love reading your comments. So be sure to comment below and I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching.